Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Rabbi H. You know, I started the Daily Vision Bible as a challenge to myself to read each book of the Bible by reading a chapter a day, and allowing myself only small breaks between each book. I hope that, Lord willing, I shall continue to do that. But recently I have started to realise something. There's something that seems to be hidden in so many of us that we seek out who authorise somebody to speak the word of God. We go to church and feel secure because the person at the pulpit is an ordained minister, ordained by some organisation that we recognise. And yet, which organisation ordained Abraham or Moses? I'll leave you to think about that as we concentrate on hearing God's word. Read in Deuteronomy chapter 6 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people say and hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Now this is the commandment, the laws and the practices, which are where your God commanded to teach you, that you may do them in the land where you go over to possess it, that you may fear Yahweh your God, to keep all his laws and his commandments, which I command you, you and your descendants, all the days of your life, and that your days may be prolonged. Hear therefore Israel, and observe to do it, that may be well with you, and that you may increase mightily, as Yahweh, the God of your fathers, has promised you, in the land flowing with milk and honey. Hear Israel, Yahweh is our God. Yahweh is one. You shall love Yahweh your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. These words which I command you today shall be on your heart, and you shall teach them surely to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them for a sign on your hand, and they shall be for your frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house, and on your gates. It shall be when Yahweh your God brings you into the land which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you great and goodly cities, which you didn't build, and houses full of good things, which you didn't fill, and cisterns dug out, which you didn't dig, vineyards and olive trees, which you didn't plant, and you shall eat and be full, and beware, in case you forget Yahweh, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall fear Yahweh your God, and you shall serve him, and shall swear by his name. You shall not go after other gods, but the gods of the peoples who are around you, for Yahweh your God among you is a jealous God, in case the anger of Yahweh your God be kindled against you, and he destroy you from off the face of the earth. You shall not tempt Yahweh your God, as you tempt them in Massa. You shall carefully keep the commandments of Yahweh your God, and his testimonies and his laws, which he has commanded you. You shall do that which is right and good in Yahweh's sight, and may be well with you, and that you may go in and possess the good land, which Yahweh swore to your fathers, to thrust out all your enemies from before you, as Yahweh has spoken. When your son asked you, in time to come, saying, What do the testimony needs, the laws and the practices, which Yahweh our God has commanded you, mean? And you shall tell your son, We were Pharaoh's slaves in Egypt. Yahweh brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and Yahweh showed great and awesome signs and wonders on Egypt, on Pharaoh and all his house, before our eyes, and he brought us out from there, so that he may bring us in, to give us the land which he swore to our fathers. Yahweh commanded us to do all these laws, to fear Yahweh our God, for our God always that he might preserve us alive, as we are today. It shall be righteous to us, if we observe to do all this commandment before Yahweh our God, as he has commanded us.